Well, I'm being joined by a political analyst, Achike Chude. It's good to have you join us this afternoon. Good afternoon, Achike Chude. Yeah, good afternoon, Messi. Well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon on the news. Uh, so let's get straight to the crux of the matter. Do you think that the vice president could be the anointed candidate of President Muhammad Buhari? I mean, after months of speculation. Well, I know that um, uh, some time ago, I think some months back, uh, there was a lot of uh, controversy, you know, uh, caused of, you know, by the statement that the president made. Uh, when he said that he wasn't, he was asked in a television interview whether he had a favorite. And he said, he seemed to indicate that he did, and uh, but he wasn't going to name any. Because if he named, you know, his favorite, that uh, he might be eliminated. Now people were, I mean, having all kind of uh, conjectures, what he meant by elimination. Was it physical elimination or was it that he was going to be eliminated politically? Uh, you know, so obviously, uh, from what he had said, uh, he has somebody in mind. Whether that is for Shibajo, we do not know. Uh, but uh, the reality is that um, uh, or Shibajo, uh, about a week ago, was said to have uh, indicated his interest to uh, his principal, that is the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, this is uh, a long time, even after uh, Bola Amit in Nobuku is uh, supposed to be uh, a one-time benefactor, political benefactor of uh, Shibaji, had also made his intention known uh, to the president. Uh, so perhaps he might be the anointed, we are not sure. Uh, the verity is still out there, and the politics is still being played. Uh, but uh, what is clear is that um, we used to say we are, everybody was essentially saying that uh, uh, Tinubu, Bola Ahmed Tinubu was the most visible of uh, the candidates of either political parties uh, in the country uh, to, run, to want to run for president. But right now he's going to have uh, somebody else in contention and uh, his SY political protection, the vice president of the Nigeria. Well, so um, do you think that we're about to see a showdown between the vice president and the former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu? I think it's inevitable. For as long as I mean, the two of them are resolved uh, to contest for the presidency of this country, there definitely will be a showdown. But do not also forget that uh, this battle started long before now. Um, the, the whole a problem in, in, in holding the APC National Convention had to do with the political behind the scene uh, to determine who will likely emerge as uh, members of uh, the convention, or as members of uh, the Central Working Committee of uh, the party. And of course, you know that um, uh, some of these uh, members of uh, the party at that level could also play a decisive role in seeing to the emergence of uh, of uh, presidential candidates. So it was important to all sides that a particular person uh, with a particular temperament and characteristic emerges as uh, the leader, especially the chairman of uh, the, uh, the uh, APC, because they would feel uh, that uh, that would also help them. So there will be uh, a slug fest between uh, Oshibajo and, and Tinubu. Uh, Tinubu says that uh, the presidency of this country has been his lifelong ambition. But Oshibajo has left it late. Perhaps it was very strategic uh, to leave it to this, I mean, to this extent and uh, to this uh, level, and they're coming out so late in the day. But we have an indication of uh, how uh, very serious it is going to be, how acrimonious it will be. Uh, because uh, Ojudu, who in a way, uh, 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 Senator Babafemi Ojudu, who in a way is also one of uh, the proteges of uh, Bola Yame Tinubu, has been abused endlessly by supporters of Tinubu because they saw him long before now showing uh, support for a possible of Shibajo pres uh, you know, run for the presidency of this country. And he was abused endlessly and threatened. The fact, he came on national media uh, to talk about the threats that he was receiving from members of uh, the Tinubu support group. So obviously, uh, the Tinubu faction or the Tinubu uh, support supporters knew uh, from the grapevine that Oshibajo was inevitably going to run for the presidency of uh, this country. So it's, it's, uh, it's an open secret that a lot of them, a lot of people knew about, and it has eventually uh, shown itself. Mm. 
So um, what do you think is going to happen if uh, the former governor of Lagos State, we're talking about Asiwaju Bola Tunubu, doesn't get the ticket? We understand that uh, at the party level, I mean, as a flag bearer, the APC should come up with a candidate. And now we have the vice president in the race. We also have, you know, the former governor in the race. What happens? How does he now fulfill his longtime ambition of becoming the president? Are there other options, you think? Well, it's still, it's still early to tell, really, because they still have to go into the APC convention to determine who will represent the party. Now, don't fall to forget that uh, the president, when they, when they had this issue with the National Assembly, uh, the president gave a condition, one of the con major conditions he gave to sign uh, that um, electoral law uh, was the issue of, uh, of uh, removal of um, direct primaries. And uh, you know, uh, and they asked them to insert the you know consensus uh, 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 clause uh, inside of the constitution. So obviously, uh, they might have to look for consensus. They might not want to go all the way and uh, turn this into a serious uh, you know uh, political fight. Because when that one happens and we create this kind of uh, rancor and division, a lot of people are going to be bloodied in the process. And there's a possibility that if they are not satisfied and they feel that they have been hard done, you know, by the party, there's a possibility that they could move. And therefore, Oshiba John himself would have uh, uh, declared in this manner, which, uh, just like you indicated in your report, 12 out of the 23 governors of the APC attended. Now, they did not attend to break the fast. It was a political, uh, you know, event that they came for. Um, obviously, 12 is about 50% or slightly more than 50% of the 23 governments. So that will give you an idea where the pendulum might swing. Because the people, the governors that went for that you know, meeting where Shibadu declared, were very much aware that Shibadu was going to make his declaration, and yet some of them did not think it fit to uh, stay away. So perhaps uh, they have the buying of, uh, or Shibadu has the buying of some of these governments. So if ultimately, I might think that if ultimately Atinubu does not get the party's ticket, uh, there is a possibility that uh, he might leave, the possibility that he might leave the APC will be exceedingly high, especially when he loses to his protege, somebody that he helped, somebody that he made commissioner for, uh, you know, while he was governor, commissioner for, I mean, attorney general and uh, commissioner for justice. And he believes that Oshibajo owes him, that he was also instrumental in Oshibajo emerging as a uh, vice president. In fact, a lot of people have accused Oshibajo of, uh, of uh, being ungrateful to the person that made him in politics. But if you play, if you go by that argument, then a lot of people will remember what Tinubu did to members of Afeni Ferry, who also made him and then showed that he became the governor of Lagos State. He literally ran them out of town. And then, you know, and, uh, I, and so I, I don't think anybody who understands the history of uh, you know the politics of uh, the Southwest in the past uh, 20 years or so can effectively accuse only Oshibajo of uh, ingratitude. Achike Chude, uh, let's also look at the fact that if the pro vice president gets the ticket, do you think he has the political, I mean, he has structures because elections are not just won, uh, you know, by prominence and being very popular. Uh, do you think he has structures across the 36 states of the Federation, you know, to win an election of this magnitude? Of course, of course a very great uh, question you're asking. Um, uh, Oshibajo, Oshibajo does not have um, constituencies, political constituencies. Oshibajo does not have political structures. He had to rely on the structure of Polatinubu. Uh, even before he became uh, the, the vice president of uh, this country, he relied a lot on the Bola Tinubu because Bola Tinubu took him along for the political right. Uh, but you see, at this level, it's no longer about the structures because you now have the state, you know, the, the interest of the party is at stake nationally. So the party will have to bring their will with them. Because uh, when you talk about uh, having the structures, uh, whether he has the structures of the party or not, there's another thing, you know, you should also bear in mind. He does not have the resources, or he is not repeated to have the resources. And I'm talking about the money, the financial wherewithal that is needed uh, to run for the presidency of this country. Tinubu obviously has. So what is going to happen is that some other people who have a stake in the PDP continuing in power, we have to put all of those structures right. in place for him. Thank and you. there's an argument, an argument can be made effectively.
Abbas Ugo did not have his structures before he ran and became president. People have to make him president. Good luck, Jonathan, the same thing. Achike you know, Achide, we have to let you go now. So the part. Thank you. I'm really sorry, but thank you so much for being part of the show, uh, well, part of the news this afternoon. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.